Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber and we are back here again with another quick look, a quick action figure review at this Commando. Um, if you guys been watching my channel, you know I've been kicking out uh, reviews of loose action figures I bought. I feel like they deserve a review because they're awesome and they're epic. So today we are going to be taking a look at Dutch right here from 2012. I love that NECA puts the date on uh, these figures, especially at the bottom of the feet. That's pretty awesome. Or, if you don't want them to be Dutch, you can make them into Commando. Yeah, dude. Awesome, awesome movie. Uh, as well, as you guys can see right here, we have some Predators to do a comparison with. My last review of these Predators. And also, we're going to do some reviews of some other uh, famous Arnie um, figures as well. Specifically, Terminator figures. All right, guys, so let's take a quick look at Dutch right here. So I, as once again, like I said, to reiterate, uh, I did buy uh, Dutch loose. He comes with a knife. He comes with a machine gun. Uh, he comes with uh, a pistol, a handheld pistol, which is removable. So you can take the pistol out. I don't recall. I don't recall already having a pistol in this movie. I, re I just remember him using a this machine gun. I could be wrong. Maybe maybe you guys know. I don't remember him using a pistol. But nonetheless, it comes with a pistol, which kind of which pegs into there, and then you can peg that into there so it doesn't fall out because you know it's going to fall out. So let's peg that into there, which is going to have a hard time pegging in because it's not an, a newer figure. It's a little bit of an older figure. We'll give it one more shot and now. Okay, and then the knife comes out like so should come out there's the beautiful knife pay no attention to my long fingernails I've been busy haven't had time to groom myself properly so there is the knife in which Arnie uses does he use a knife I can't remember and then he comes with the machine gun the infamous machine gun Let's take out his gun and let's put the gun into Arnie's hands right here because I feel like he needs to be holding this machine gun. Or we'll put it in this hand right here. It looks like it goes into this hand. Like so. Like so. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Get, get to the chopper! The likeness to Arnie is done very, very well. Um, especially for it being a 2012 action figure the vest is very done very nicely rubberized it does have a waist swivel it does have a break here at the torso it does have your ball joints your neck of ball joints legs no double jointed legs but i do like the boots i do like the black and green boots here done very very nicely i love the army the army fatigue, the army pants, the camouflage pants, and then the boots. NECA just did an amazing job with this figure. I didn't think I would like this figure as much as I do like this Arnie figure. <laughs> dude, man, he's just he looks like Arnie, dude. He has that he has that uh that grimace that Arnie has. And the weapon is done very nicely, black with some silver tarnishing over it, some metal, gunmetal gray tarnishing over it to make it look more realistic. So that's a nice touch right there that they did. There's Arnie scratching his crotch. There's the back of him. Head swivel, my apologies. 
Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a ball joint. You can't really get his head to look up or look down. More like straight away, like, hey, what's up, bitch? I'm Schwarzenegger. You may be the Predator, but I'm the Terminator. Speaking of the Terminator, let's bring in some Terminator figures to do some comparisons. So here's Arnie uh, and Terminator 2. You can see which, what year is this from? This is from 2015. So the likeness, I mean, of course this looks like the Terminator. It doesn't look too much like Arnie. I feel like the face sculpt, for some reason, I feel like this Arnie's nose is a little bit too big. Maybe it's the beard. But I feel this one, this Dutch right here, is more of Arnie's likeness than the Terminator 2 figure. As far as height-wise, for some reason, uh, Arnie, uh, Dutch, looks to be maybe a little bit taller than... Terminator. Maybe are they, they they are the same height. Let's let's do a measurement of this, guys. I'm kind of curious. It seems like the Terminator is much is a little bit shorter than Dutch. Maybe it's the boots. I don't know. But they are both wearing boots. But then again, the combat boots might give him some inches. So Terminator two. Now the Terminator. Did the Terminator have a name? In the movie, he didn't have a name. He was just known as the Terminator, right? Uh, other than Uncle Bob, right? <laughs> so Uncle Bob, I think, was the only name that they gave uh, Arnie in the movie. He he really didn't have a name other than Terminator, other than, was it the T-1000? Or the T-800? So it says right here, yeah, okay. So um, Commando, a.k.a. Dutch, stands at about 7 and 1 eighth. As to this Terminator, where he stands just a little at seven inches. Okay, so yeah, Dutch is a little bit taller than uh, the Terminator 2 uh, figure, Uncle Bob. We'll just call him Uncle Bob for now. So let's break out uh, the Terminator uh, Kenner tribute right here. One of my other favorite action figures. Essentially, he's the same figure as that one I just showed you from Terminator 2. Because he has the same body sculpt, same everything. So, And yeah, this the likeness is a little bit more. With, when you put the shades on Arnie, the Terminator likeness does come into play. But then again, the term, the, it, his likeness does come into play because he has the classic Terminator, you know, half-face, kind of like two-face. So... Yeah, this looks like this Terminator looks like he's a little bit shorter as well. Muscular wise, I say I'm pretty sure they used the same arm. I'm curious to know. Let's see. Is this the same arm? It, it sure in the hell looks like the same arm, but it's a different color. Whereas this Arnie is he's a little bit more tanned because this Arnie is well, he's wearing dead skin pretty much or living tissue, should I say? So it's going to be a little bit more paler. And Arnie was a little bit more older in this movie as well. But yeah, it, looks, it does look like the same arm sculpt. Okay guys, let's do some comparisons with some Predator figures. We'll bring in the classic Jungle Hunter Predator right here. Yeah, and I feel like because... Predator was huge in this movie, man, so I feel like the Predator is supposed to be a little bit more bigger than Dutch. I feel like Terminator should be, like, right here, man, because I remember the Predator being huge in the movie. So I feel like they made Dutch a little bit too... too big, should I say. Now, if you bring in the City Hunter Predator, that kind of looks about right, yeah, that the height wise for this City Hunter Predator looks quite right. And when are they gonna make a Danny Glover Predator 2 figure? <laughs> I I would love to get that, man. I, I'm sh I don't I, I'm pretty sure they may have made it. Maybe it might have skipped my skipped over me, but I, I don't I have never seen a Danny Glover Predator 2 figure. So yeah, that's about the right height right there. Maybe a little bit bigger. Cause I feel like Schwarzenegger should be like underneath 
uh, Predator's chin. So speaking of the camouflage, we'll bring in uh, another camouflage Predator. This is the last figure that I reviewed. There's Terminator passing out over there. He's he's got he got bored of my review. Yeah, the, these uh, these Predators are it seems a little bit too small compared to Arnie. I feel like the Predator figures are supposed to be a little bit too bigger. So here's the Fugitive Predator, and yeah, man, see this Fugitive Predator is supposed to be this size compared to Arnie. You're supposed to pick them up like this, Ugh. hold them like that, and pre and and uh, Arnie's legs is supposed to be off the ground like that. Hold his head like that up against a tree as he's battling them. Okay, guys, not bad. I really really like this Dutch figure. Another uh, predator, predator esque predator. Another figure from Predator movie to add to my collection. I really dig this figure man the likeness to arnie is way better i think i think it's done really really nicely compared to the terminator figures i, I don't want to say it's better but i am saying it's better <laughs> if that makes any sense the overall detail is really really nicely done the fatigues the knife the gun the vest the overall look the makeup the head sculpt the skin is done very nicely i really really like this dutch um, figure. I was going to say Dutch Terminator. <laughs> Dutch Terminator. Uh, Terminator's back, and he's Dutch. <laughs> now he's taking out Predators in Holland. <laughs> is Dutch is Dutch in Holland? Maybe I'm getting confused. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, okay, guys, a really, really nice figure. Let me give you my rating of this Predator. Uh, I think this review has gone on way too long. So this Dutch figure is epic, man. I really, really like this uh, figure. So I'm going to give it a solid 8 on a scale of 1 to 10. I think he's really, really nice. He'll go nicely in my Predator collection. My first human in my Predator collection. Uh, there's nothing more I can say, man. This They did an amazing job. This, uh, this Arnie, this Dutch figure is is epic man they did an amazing amazing job all right guys we'll go ahead and leave it at that if you like this little review hit the like button comment subscribe hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool awesome reviews like this and i just want to thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next review bye